Hi guys, here I am today with another Beauty Secrets Acrylic video. All you'll need is some of the powder, a monomer, a brush, a file, and a buffer. I'm also using two of these glass dishes, a dehydrator, and you'll also need a primer. I am placing both of the dishes onto a paper towel and I'm going to begin by pouring a brush cleaner into the first bowl or dish and then I'm going to pour in the monomer into the second one. I am then saturating the brush into the brush cleaner which is going to allow the acrylic that was already in there to soften. I am then taking a cuticle pusher to push out all of the acrylic that has softened if there was any acrylic that was stuck in there from the last time I used this brush. So I am using an artificial nail for this tutorial and you would initially start off by the dehydrator and then you would use a primer but for the sake of this video since I am doing it on a fake nail I did skip out a few parts. I am then taking some monomer onto my brush and putting it into the powder until it creates a little ball like that it does take some time to get the powder to monomer ratio right but practice does make perfect even still i don't know the actual proportions i should be doing sometimes it comes out a little too runny sometimes it's too dry and you will know that um, the more you experiment usually if it's too runny you will see that it doesn't come off your brush at all and it'll just start dripping everywhere and if it's too dry you will put it onto your nail and it will just fall right off because there's way too much powder in it. I usually go in with a second ball just so I can get really close to the cuticle and again I feel like if it's a little bit more runny near the cuticle it kind of helps it blend in a lot better. Here I am just patting it into shape uh, until it smoothens out. Again, I am not a professional and it does take a lot of practice. I've been practicing on my real nails for months now and I'm finally just getting it down but it does take time so do not get frustrated just keep trying over and over and over again until you get it i am now taking a gel base coat i am also going to be using seashell pink and fireworks for the glitter and you will also need a top coat after putting down the base coat i am using seashell pink and painting it all over the nail After I'm done painting it, I am just going to place it into a UV lamp for two minutes. After it is out, I am going with a second layer just to make that color appear a lot more opaque. And again, I am placing it into the UV light. I'm going to start by shaking off the glitter nail polish since the glitter usually settles at the bottom. So giving it a good shake will make it spread evenly. I'm going to start by putting a big chunk on the top of the nail and then I'll start by smearing, smearing it to the bottom 
for the ombre effect. Since the glitter is so fine, you will need more than one layer to successfully get the ombre look or else it'll be really subtle. If that's what you're going for, then go for it. But I did want the glitter to show. So again, I'm going with a few layers. Again, just going to place that into the UV light and we're done. And this is how I got this ombre look using Sally's Beauty Supplies acrylic system.